What is going on everyone? So in this week's video, we're gonna talk about cairns, simple stacks of stone that come in two varieties, navigational cairns and recreational cairns. We're gonna define each of those categories, give some examples, and I'm gonna share my thoughts on why it is that I really dislike recreational cairns, and the reason might be a little different from what you're thinking. So let's get right to it. So do you see that small stack of stones just to the left of my leg there? Well, that is a navigational cairn. And then again, atop that sandstone ridge, well, that too is a navigational cairn. It's a bit like following a trail of breadcrumbs. Navigational cairns are small, they're simple, and they're made to withstand the elements. They're often found in wilderness areas and they're used to mark difficult to navigate sections of trail. Most people will not encounter navigational cairns, but if you do, chances are you will be relying on them to navigate, which is kind of how you tell the difference. And for that very reason, it's very important not to disturb a navigational cairn. Don't knock it over, don't distribute it, don't get rid of it, leave it where it is. But along those same lines, it's also very important not to add to them because that can create confusion. So navigational cairns, leave them be, they're there for a reason. Now, recreational cairns, on the other hand, are an entirely different beast. This footage comes courtesy of my friend and fellow photographer, Scott Walton. It was filmed last fall in Zion National Park. Unlike navigational cairns, recreational cairns are often very large, they're very elaborate, and they're very numerous. They're found close to roads and trails with easy access, and they serve no purpose other than to leave a mark on the environment. They've increasingly become a problem, especially with social media, and are actually viewed as a form of graffiti by the National Park Service as well as other agencies. Now, a lot of times when people see me carefully dismantling these recreational cairns, they assume it's more so from an environmental standpoint in terms of uh, disturbing the landscape, moving the rocks, this and that. And there's a little bit of that involved, but the primary reason why I disassemble these recreational cairns has to do with the experience of other people. Because when we visit these national parks, when we visit these state parks and these other public lands, we are exactly that. We are visitors. And as visitors, we need to behave accordingly. Our goal should be to leave a place at least as good as it was when we got there. But ideally, we should leave a place better than we found it. And by leaving behind cairns, what you're doing is you are having an impact on other people's wilderness experience. So the same wash that Scott filmed this footage back in 2020, well in 2019, I took a photo in that exact same wash of this beautiful box elder tree, reflected light, and the wash was absolutely pristine at that point in time. But then after the course of the pandemic, a lot more people started going outdoors. They didn't quite know the etiquette and there was all this stone stacking in that same wash. And along with it, there was also a lot of used toilet paper and human waste and just evidence of the bad behavior of people that just didn't know what to do when they were outdoors. And they thought that that was okay. But there are many people, myself included, that go to these areas with this wilderness experience in mind. And that is where the cairns really have a, a significant impact. So yes, there is an environmental standpoint in terms of not wanting to disturb the rocks and move things around. But I see it mostly from the standpoint of being courteous to other visitors, being courteous to those that want to have the wilderness experience. And if you leave something behind like that, it's a bit like that college roommate that would just stack up dishes in the sink for you to deal with a little bit later on. Yeah, you know the person. It disrupts the experience. It's not very kind to other visitors. So that is the reason why I disassemble recreational cairns and I'm very careful to scatter the rocks um, just to make sure that other people can have that same experience. But I wanna thank everyone for watching and we'll see you around next time.